Taking risk is an integral part of human life. Effective training and education can mitigate the consequences associated with exposure to hazards and hence improve risk management. However, certain individuals are more predisposed to risk taking than others. The way we measure individuals' propensity to engage in risky situations has traditionally been through explicit scales. Such scales are open to manipulation and as a result may not accurately reflect the variables under examination. An alternate measure that has shown promise in the area of social science involves the implicit measurement of such factors. This is achieved through the use of an implicit association test. Therefore, the aim of the present research was to examine whether an implicit measure of individual differences through the use of an implicit association test yields more accurate results than existing self-report measures. The test bed was aviation, and specifically general aviation. 35 pilots completed a battery of psychometric scales, including a newly created implicit association test. In order to examine the predictability of these tests, pilots were asked to complete a test flight in a flight simulator. The test flight involved confirming the report of an injured motorcyclist on a road 10 nautical miles from the departure aerodrome. Pilots are not permitted to descend below 500 feet over non-populated areas. Altitude is an important factor when managing flight safety. For example, in the event of an engine failure, a higher altitude permits more time to rectify the situation and or increase glide distance. Similarly, if the aircraft stalls and the wings no longer produce lift, increased altitude permits more time and altitude to recover. The results revealed that among the six risk perception variables, 10 risk attitude variables and two experience variables, only two variables were found to be significantly related with in-flight risk-taking behaviour, those being one risk perception measure called everyday risk and one attitude measure called low-level flying attitude derived from the new implicit association test. From these two, the low-level flying attitude derived from the new implicit association test was the strongest predictor of risky flight behaviour. The results indicate that implicit attitudinal measures, such as the implicit association test, provide a more accurate forecast of pilots' behaviour than the more traditional explicit attitudinal or personality measures. This research was conducted by Brett Molesworth and Betty Chang from the School of Aviation at UNSW. A write-up of this research can be found in the journal titled Human Factors.